Hello everyone and welcome to Geopolitical Trends. My name is David Wallalu. So good to be with you as always. As a geopolitical analyst, I ask, what's behind New Zealand's decision to refuse the United States request for it to join AUKUS? In this video, I'm going to provide you my assessments and answer uh, uh, to this question while placing it within the context of, of the recent geopolitical landscape in the region. So let's dive in into this fascinating topic. Looks like US Secretary of State Tony Blinken's visit recently to New Zealand is considered a failure after Nanyana Mahuta shuts the door on New Zealand for joining August after the United States Anthony Blinken says and I put this in quotes, oh, New Zealand is very much open. End of quote. No, it's not. <laughs> That's why he was shocked by her statements. And by the way, uh, Nanyana, which by the way, you're looking at her picture here, uh, Nanyana Sibol Mahuta is New Zealand Labour Party politician who is in the, who is the current, a current member of the parliament for the Horaki uh, Waikato. Waikato, uh, and the Minister of the Foreign Affairs since 2020. At the same time, Naniana Mahota said, and I quote, New Zealand views the United States as one of our closest friends, end of quote. But, but you respect her, you know why? She's taking a stand for looking at Tony Blinken and said, no, <laughs> she's taking a stand unlike the uh, prime minister of her neighboring country of Australia, who recently just surrendered Australia's sovereignty over the deal of the USS Canberra. That's, uh, and I did a video for you guys about this one here. So, so the foreign minister, uh, uh, New Zealand that is, the foreign affairs minister of New Zealand, Naniana Mahota has just, as I said earlier, shut the door on joining the AUKUS alliance. And, and for you, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with AUKUS, a military pack that is basing nuclear submarines in Australia. Very concerning. And by the way, uh, the AUKUS is an acronym for the trilateral security pact between Australia, the United States, and the United Kingdom, which was announced on uh, September 15th, 2021 for the Asia Pacific region. That's just FYI. So Mahota has been hosting US Secretary of State Tony Blinken, who called in uh, uh, sort of ahead of the FIFA, believe it or not, the FIFA Women's World Cup, uh, the game between US and Netherlands at uh, Wellington uh, Stadium. So. So during this very hasty uh, meet and greet with the Prime Minister Chris Hepkins and then on to a meeting between Tony Blinkens and uh, Foreign Minister Mahota. So, so here is what uh, uh, Mahota said. New Zealand views the US as one of the closest friends. You know, she's right about that, end of quote. She's right about that. But New Zealand has also been tremendous friend, said Blinken. Well, Blinken's statement was to soften the blow because he was, his request was rejected. So even Iwan as far as saying, well, my predecessor over the last two decades, all, meaning US predecessors, all have said the same about the enduring relationship and alliance between New Zealand and the United States. But there are challenges. Well, here is one of them. Because when Tony Blinken, Secretary Blinken, was asked if the U.S. is comfortable with New Zealand's relationship with, with China, you would be surprised what Tony said. So the Secretary responded by saying, and I quote, It's viral given the intense competition we are in. We have different visions and views. It's vitally important that we communicate, that we make sure the competition doesn't veer, 
into conflict. End of quote. Well, this is where AUKUS comes in. So the Australia, US, UK Defense Alliance comes in, you know. I will see because, you know, basically what this AUKUS, it will see the nuclear sub base across the ditch and a parent deterrent to China's expanding uh, military presence there. So New Zealand is already watching what is going on in Australia, economically speaking, and said, no, we don't want to follow that path. So what Blinken said, and I quote, the door is very much open for New Zealand and other partners to engage and they see as they see appropriate, end of quote. No, 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 no. That's playing with words. He wanted to show that, yeah, you might say no in the open, but we really want you to join AUKUS. That's basically because it will also can be interpreted as softening the blow because the rejection from New Zealand was public during the press conference. That's the point to it. So interesting enough that that door for the August was later slammed shut by Mahota. That's why she said, we are not interested. Interesting enough. So uh, I, I admire her. She took a stand and looked at the Secretary of State, uh, Tony Blinken, in the eyes and said, and I quote here, I will be really clear. We are not contemplating joining AUKUS. Not only would AUKUS clash with our nuclear-free laws, but also the country's nuclear-free Pacific policy. It's a club we've had to sell our soul to join. End of quote. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I wish the Prime Minister of Australia, the incompetent Albo, could learn something from neighboring New Zealand. So, so as I said, and I don't shy away from saying it, unlike Australia, which already sold its soul <laughs> the moment it turned or surrendered its sovereignty to the US command. That's the point. So, so I do not need to remind you uh, about where Australia is economically today due to lack of trade with China. Because here is the thing, New Zealand sees where the trends are headed and decided, no, 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 no. We're going to stay neutral here. We don't want to be sucked in into this August nonsense. So the question for you is this, will the U.S. respect New Zealand's wishes? Or will the U.S. foment tensions in New Zealand through its proxies? What do you think? Make sure to leave me some comments and I will be happy to answer them. And if you guys like me to extend further on this in a live stream, I'll be happy to do it. So if you like the content of this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I will really appreciate it. As always, remember geopolitics impact your daily life in more ways than one. Till next time, guys. Bye bye.